What's going on, guys? It's your boy Abel here with All Things Sports. And today's video for today is that Geno Smith just suffered a broken jaw, is out six to ten weeks. And in my opinion, New York Jets and the NFL conjointly have to make a serious example out of this. Um, Cam Newton had recently gotten into a fight. Geno Smith obviously gets sucker punched. And if you're a fan of the NFL or an NFL team or an individual that works for the NFL, specifically Roger Goodell, you cannot allow this kind of stuff to continue. It speaks, first of all, to the type of leadership uh, and the lack of respect, obviously, of the Jets organization and what they feel for Geno Smith because as an individual and as a player, if you see something like this brewing, this should be an unconscious and conscious trigger in your mind that you don't hit the quarterback. The quarterback is what makes your team go. It is the most position, it is the most singly important position on the field. And regardless of this being the ultimate team sport, there's a reason why they wear the red shirt. Um, and if you're a player on the field or a coach of the Jets, you don't let this happen. This happened inside the locker room. They were off the practice field. This guy just walks up to him and cracks him. Where is the leadership and the organizational structure of the Jets organization to let this happen? If you're the NFL, the quality of the game obviously is diminished because you don't want some backup quarterback, i.e. Brian Fitzpatrick, which you can make the argument for, isn't necessarily even a drop-off from Geno Smith. But you, the thing that makes the NFL such an amazing thing and so watchable is that there's 16 games. There's one game a week. Every single week, you would look forward to that game. And regardless of how, Geno Smith, how bad Geno Smith is or the circus that the Jets are, the one thing that draws ratings is that every single week you tune in to watch them play that one game. If that player makes a mockery of themselves or if the NFL were to get ratings, it's from that game. You watch them play. Good, bad, in a win or in a loss, 28-point blowout or an overtime fourth quarter drive, they're the person you watch. You do not want them sitting on the sidelines. This isn't what the NFL is built on. This isn't why the sport is so popular. So the Jets already released this guy, I think you have to press charges because this is assault. You walked up and cracked him. If you're the NFL, you have to ban him. You need to pretty much crucify this guy and make a serious example so that the next time an NFL practice is going on and someone gets into a heated scuffle with a quarterback, the fear of God, which should already be there, is in the back of your mind if you touch this guy and the consequences that's going on. I'm not a Jets fan. Honestly, I dislike Geno Smith. I think he's a terrible quarterback. But... I think Geno's te Geno Smith's a terrible quarterback, but I want the guy to play. I don't want him to sit out with a broken jaw. This is his third year. You would think at this point you would have a step up. He's been working his butt off. You want the NFL and the product to stay on the field. This is pathetic. This is pathetic. With everything else that's going on in the NFL right now that has nothing to do with football, you do not need this. You don't need quarterbacks getting into fights. You need quarterbacks worrying about improving themselves because it's a quarterback league and team success is directly correlated to quarterback success and understanding and developing. Wow. They need to do something about this. They need to make an example out of this. Um, but I want to know what you guys think of this, why quarterbacks are getting into fights. Um, leave your comments down below. This is Apple with All Things Sports. And I'll see you guys later.